Well, g'day everyone. Welcome back for another adventure out here in the outback. Um, again, just been uh, constantly pestered by flies, but seems to be a common theme on this channel lately. I really can't wait for winter, a couple of months away yet, but uh, hopefully these flies will um, die in the cold. Yeah, so I'm gonna challenge myself in this week's vlog, shooting in harsh light conditions. Um, you know, we, we always, uh, well not always, but sort of limit ourselves to that sunrise or more early morning sunrise to late afternoon sunset. Um, it is late afternoon here, still probably two hours before sunset. And I came out here, the pebbles here, um, to shoot some, uh, some images of some really harsh light. And I think um, coming out and shooting in harsh light can really uh, benefit your landscape photography. Uh, it uh, can help with uh, composition. You're gonna have to find better or different compositions uh, in really harsh light. Can't always go for uh, easy compositions. You're really gonna have to work for them. The other thing is uh, relying on nice soft light and um, beautiful clouds. Uh, in harsh conditions, you can't rely on that. So what that normally tends to do is you process your photos in black and white. So I want to try and keep them color just to really push myself. But um, who knows, I might even do a couple of black and white images, which would be uh, good for me as well. Because if you look at any of my photos or my Instagram feed, I think in all of my photos, I think there's one black and white and they're all color. So I think it's going to be good to get out in these uh, harsh, harsh light conditions. They might soften uh, in about an hour, hang around, but I'm going to scout this location, pick out some, uh, pick out some compositions and uh, try and make them work. And this brings me to my first composition here. Just walking around this sort of little circuit track here. And I found this um, composition, which is, Again, mixing up my styles. Uh, I'm gonna shoot one by one. Uh, my camera can uh, change um, view. Uh, so it's, uh, it can go full frame, crop sensor mode, 16 by nine, or one by one. So I'm gone on one by one here, and I think it might work. And this is the exact reason I came out. I never shoot one by one. Normally 16 by nine or full frame. So uh, yeah, it's throwing a few things at me here. And the reason I went one by one is I just want I just want this scene right in front of me here. I've got these rocks with the light coming across, hitting it, hitting all the grasses back in here. Um, still, uh, still blue bright skies. So I'm trying to make it work, shooting one by one, just incorporating the boulders leading you through the frame up to that cool gum tree up the back there. There's some nice fluffy uh, clouds, blue skies. And we'll see what that's like. I'm at uh, 1 25th of a second, F10 ISO 125. So probably at, so yeah, I'm at, got my 24 to 200 mil lens on, which is probably uh, good for these conditions. Currently at 50 mil. I will see what that looks like. Uh, lots of flies so uh, hanging around me all over the camera sometimes I have to swipe the front of the lens there and uh, put a timer on and kind of stand back to draw the flies back away from the camera they're all over the camera so I'm not wanting them in the scene yeah yeah it's not not the greatest but it's my first shot I don't mind it um, I'm not gonna say <laughs> Like I'm saying, these uh, conditions can really improve your landscape photography, just coming out in this, this harsh light. So yeah, that's the first image in the bag. Um, I don't know, I might continue shooting one by one. Might go back over here, some really harsh light on these rocks over here. But yeah, chuck this image up now and I'll have a look around, see what else we can shoot. Let's go look for another image.
come along the track, found my second composition. Um, it's one by one again, really hard, just all this harsh light flooding in. I mean, I don't wanna think, oh, in my mind, oh, it doesn't matter, I can just convert these to black and white, because it doesn't always work like that, shooting uh, in harsh light and thinking, uh, if the image doesn't turn out, I could, always can make it black and white, because it might not even turn out any good black and white as well. Uh, there's quite a bit of skill in actually shooting black and white landscape photography. Um, really got to know the composition that it works uh, when you're shooting in black and white. So I guess this is why I'm out here in these conditions. Uh, push my photography. And I don't think these are going to be uh, amazing images by any, any means, but um, it's a good practice for me and probably for you guys too to watch and then go out and do exactly the same principle. So yeah, this uh, composition here, not too bad. It looked nice um, with some sky. But yeah, um, got a boulder, <coughs> excuse me, I got a boulder and the light hitting these grasses um, and then a gum tree sort of anchored growing into the side of the, the boulder here. And um, the same, um, <coughs> excuse me, about it's dry, a little bit of heat out here. Same settings as the last image. Um, yeah, and just uh, framed it up now. Found another one, another composition. Could be the last, come away with three or four images. I'm happy with that, but I'll still scout the area. It's a nice tree over here, I might shoot next. Oh yeah, so afternoon lights now just beaming in, flooding on this tree here and the grasses are in front. Uh, 1 50th F10 ISO 125, millions of flies. So I'm trying to back away again. Shooting one by one, and I'm gonna go, um, I don't know, 16 by nine on this one as well. See which, sorry, not 16 by nine, just normal full frame. Uh, see how that looks. And I'll see uh, which one works better, more of a square crop. Or uh, what am I at? 35 mil full frame, so sort of more of a wide angle look. I'm walking on a this real soft dirt, and I think I mentioned it last time I was here. There's so many dingo footprints in the soft mud. Um, I'm guessing once that sun sinks, you'll start hearing them howl. Although I won't be around for that, but um, yeah, absolutely. Um, a lot of dingoes around here. Uh, there's some light on the back of those rocks. See if I can get that. I yeah, really like this tree. There's another tree just over here I might shoot and then head back. Um, cars back over there a bit. Really uh, pushing myself here with this uh, photography and this harsh light. Um, I think I prefer one-to-one -one ratio on these um, these images, but I'll put both of them up and you let me know um, which one works. Some really nice light now. Well, not nice light, but harsh light hitting those rocks back there. I'll try this tree over here. And yeah, I don't know if I wanna hang around, hang around here at dusk uh, by myself with all these dingoes, but yeah, you only live once, right? It's 
See another tree um, just along from that last one I was shooting. Oh man, I don't know if you guys are picking up these flies, eh? It's... I mean, is that legal? Is that? Yeah, so this tree's got a bit more character than the last one. It's kind of in and out, goes one way, then the branches sort of come back the other way. Um, so it's pretty, pretty cool looking tree. One by one, that sort of harsh afternoon light hitting it. A one one hundredth of a second, F10. And ISO 100, flies all over the camera. I just hope they're not on the front element when I'm taking these images. It's giving me the shits, to be honest with you. Step back, hopefully draw, draw all those flies away. Some really nice, really nice boulders up uh, here, um, which I'd like to explore, but I'm not sure I'm allowed to. Uh, it's sacred. Uh, in behind the tree here where I'm shooting all those boulders are sacred. I'm going to have to get permission uh, from the land council, the local uh, land council. Um, and hopefully they'll say yes, and then I can explore all these boulders back in here um, another time. I'll go see them on Monday, I think, and ask for permission to explore their country. But yeah, could be it. If there's uh, any more cool images, I'll chuck them up for you. Again, um, if I've converted them to black and white, they probably look better black and white. Um, just these couple of trees I took along the path and boulders. Um, I have converted a lot of, of my images to black and white over the last few months that I've been taking around this area. Uh, they just look really nice black and white. Um, and I'll just show you the difference. If I get a, um, Yeah, so if I get any more images, I'll chuck them up. I'm gonna slowly make my way back to the car, I think. And uh, might sit in the car and see what the sky does. Uh, there is a bit of cloud coming in now from this direction. Uh, sun's setting here, um, some high cloud out there. Although there's no compositions out there or anything to shoot, so it might just be a waste of time. Um, yeah, so if I get any more nice images on the way back to the car, I'll uh, chuck them up for you. And um, yeah, it's beautiful out here, peaceful. Anyone out here? Well, not really. It's probably a lot of dingoes uh, <laughs> stalking me up on those hills there, smelling me. But yeah, I'm gonna head back. Here's this image. So on the way back, I um, was shooting these rocks with um, just harsh light on them. Uh, it's actually probably, to be fair, it was actually quite a nice light uh, as the sun sunk on these rocks. It wasn't like uh, middle of the day kind of light, but nevertheless, uh, still, still something different. Um, always want to evolve. A landscape photographer and try different things so that's what I did today yeah nice uh, probably not picking them up some really nice pastel fluffy clouds now uh, sort of pink color out there but yeah I think I've had my fun for the day yeah thanks for coming along guys really appreciate it um, here in the middle of Australia um, Leave a comment um, and put a thumbs up. And of course, if you're new or first time watching, please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you want to see more Australian Outback adventures or landscape photography adventures. And yeah, better get in the car before those dingoes come. <laughs> All right, guys, have a good week. See you on the next adventure.